Today I'm going to do one of those reaction videos. Hi everybody, it's EJ Kafoopals here. Welcome to Kafoopal Land. On this channel I do a lot of teacher tips. If that's something you're interested in, subscribe because I'd love to have you on board. Today I'm going to do a teacher reacts video. I've chosen an Australian mockumentary called Summer Heights High, which I have watched before, but it's been years since I've watched it. It's a comedy and I'm just going to watch episode one in season one. Okay, here we go. I love the music. I really like that point of view shot too. And the, like the um, drone footage. Someone's in trouble. There he is. Chris Little is just amazing. He legitimately looks like a teenage boy. It's a problem in school. The white shoes are not on, mate. Black yeah, shoes, you just don't get to play at lunchtime. So uh, what I do is uh, I work with the victims, but also the perpetrators. I've got a year seven boy out there crying, saying you tormented him, you bullied Aww, him, and you threw Darwin. his school bag over the train line. How is that appropriate behaviour? There's a difference between bullying and jerking around. Jerking around with him, sir. Don't you just love how there's always an excuse? There's always some kind of explanation for the behaviour. He does that. It's not my fault. It he looks like he's I could tell him a knock knock chicken. Oh. He started crying because he's him. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, it's not appropriate. No, now, it's, it's not. not appropriate because he's a homo. Yeah. Oh. He's trying to make have yeah. a fun time on the way before school. Was it fun for Ben? Yes. He no. just didn't get that it yes. was fun. We weren't even bullying him, sir. We just punked him. We were just playing I said, around. he got punked afterwards and he didn't even get it. This guy is so clever, the way that he has observed teenage behaviours and language and he's just encapsulated everything so accurately. Yeah. It's amazing. What does that mean, punked? It's a show, sir. It's a TV oh, show. Don't you TV know watch TV? There he is. Oh, uh, Mr. Gregson helping me out. He's one of my senior uh, drama teachers. And uh, he um, is from a dance and theatre background. I do. I direct the big stuff on stage that she can't handle. I, that she can't handle. <laughs> I tend to do the, the wow shows. And then each year, um, every second year, we do the, the traditionals. Yes. It's difficult for me sometimes taking the, the back seat in my off years. I find it hard sort of sitting back and letting her I bet you do. You know, do her thing. Sometimes I'm... <laughs> What's she doing? But that's her choice. She makes choices that I don't always agree with. Listening to your director, please. Mrs. Cotton is in charge. Could I get two strong voices? I have done Lord knows how many shows over the years. The I tend to do the, uh, the more modern or cutting edge productions. And the man, the music, the water. Stuff, uh, original musicals. I've had a very yeah. critical acclaim. I care the musical. Um, big show I did last year, Sonorama. <laughs> Summer Heights High Drama Company presents Tsunami Rum, oh dear. Which yeah. is about the tsunami tragedy. Oh my Set goodness. The music of Have go. But no, I find wow. plenty to do when it comes to doing Meredith shows. Thanks, Ronnie. I get the kick from champagne. We work well together and I help her out when, you know, if Meredith's feeling lost with anything and, you know, I point out where she might be going wrong. It's a real help. <laughs> real help. <laughs> I don't know how these kids and the other um, the adults could manage to keep a straight face. How do they do it? I get a kick out of you. Make it really aggressive and macho. You. Make it really aggressive and macho. The program's the first, I believe. And I yep. think it's brilliant. It really is giving an opportunity for one of our girls to go to another school that's totally different and experience a life that's nothing like what she would experience here at Summer Heights. It's a swap program. And I guess they're hoping to prove that you can get an equally valid and valuable educational experience in either the public or the private system. At Hilford, girls like oh. me are up in a world of opportunity. <laughs> this is Chris Lilly as well. He's amazing. And he's got the teenage girl down pat as well. Sport. It's a well-rounded education in an amazing environment. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Oh, What's all this? Looks like too much fun. Haven't 
What you got an assignment due tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Thanks, miss. Library, here I come. Yes, well, she's <laughs> sponsored kids. She's modelled for Dolly Magazine. She's been Dolly Magazine for Australian of the Year. And she's still only 16. To be honest, I can't wait to meet her. She's got the oh, hair. God. Hi. I'm Jemay. It's Jemay. Oh, yeah. I'm Mrs. Kim. It's a lot to meet you. This is Chantel. Hi, Chantel. Got my bag. It's in the back. Um, oh, my God. I grab my bag. It's in the back. <laughs> she speaks to her mum. Uh, do you go any health aid? Yeah. That's really cool. You'll fit in. There's so many Asians there. Oh, <laughs> my name is Greg Gregson. The kids at school call me Mr. G. And I've been a senior drama teacher here at Summer Heights for nine years now. <laughs> Look at his photo. I can't even do it. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee before we teach you, teach you. Oh, I love that. Coffee, coffee, coffee before we teach you, teach you. Always yes. interested in the performing arts, singing, dancing, acting. And mum always says that even as a baby, other babies were crying and, and in, in a sort of monotonal way. But if I'd call out to mum rather than mum, like other kids, I would go, mum. <laughs> Mum. It's always Mum. I remember doing a, a, a I choreographed mm. the whole Xanadu soundtrack. I performed it for my friends at my ninth birthday. Got into teachers' oh college, my. majored in drama there, and just thrived. I was very, very known for the shows that I'd done there. Um, I did Bubble Rap, which was Bubble me, Rap. A couple of other boys. Um, I would emerge from various types of packaging. <laughs> I was at uh, industry level at that stage, and I thought, <laughs> hang on, I know a job where I can sing and I can dance and I can act every day and get paid for it. And it was drama teaching. Welcome to the magical world of drama. No, I'm always joking with the principal. I always say to, to Margaret, you've got yourself an, an entertainment industry professional for the price of a teacher, so where's my pay <laughs> rise? <laughs> Occasionally you come across some very special students. You're a legend, sir. <laughs> for me, Jonah Takalua is a lot more than he seems on the surface. Jonah is an at-risker. He comes from a single-parent family, lost his mother at an early age. There are attention deficit issues. He's been on and off Ritalin. There's a, a problem with aggression with Jonah. This is kind of sad at the same time because it's very, to me as a teacher, it's really real, like it's very close to reality. So even though it's got a really humorous side, I, I kind of feel a bit sad that there are so many kids like... And so many teachers who I've spoken to really relate to this show because it's kind of a realistic depiction of what it can be like in um, Australian public high schools. Like, I think when they were choosing people, like, they wanted someone who was good at pretty much everything. And, like, because it's going to be on the news and on TV and stuff, like, I don't want to brag, but I think they wanted someone decent looking. It's way less, <laughs> like, not crap, but less povo than I thought it would be. I love your themes, they're so random. The teachers at my school are always going, Jemay, oh my god, you're the most likely to succeed and stuff, because I'm, like, the smartest non Asian in year 11. <laughs> smartest non Asian. And I'm good at squad and everything that Asians can't do, so I'm such a good ambassador for, for the school. The buildings are so kind of grey. Yes, they like, are. no offence. Public schools are so random. Miss, I need your help. Shh. Quiet, Jonah, please. I don't know how to do it. I can't be quiet if I don't know how to do it. Quiet. I teach uh, Jonah Takalua uh, Year 8 English. you got to help me or what, Miss? He's disruptive. He interferes he with disruptive. other students' learning. Yes, he um, does. And he can be very rude. Oh, <coughs> Miss, you farted. Miss, just farted. Miss, oh. Time out now. I don't want to go to time out. It's not go my fault. Time. You farted. I have set up um, a mm. time out. Okay, so with this kind of kid, I don't think that you should react like that because that's what exactly what they're looking for they're looking for a reaction straight away she's gone okay you're going to time out I don't know what's happened before maybe there's been a build-up in the lesson but honestly that's exactly what they're looking for is is um, you to lose it in their eyes so you don't you're not going to lose it you're going to be very calm but certainly he needed a consequence for that because that is very disrespectful and disruptive like she was saying so I would probably move him. It, it also needs a conversation about how and why that's inappropriate. 
he's going to get all the other kids laughing too. So you've got to keep in mind what's happening with the other students around the room. Out desk, which is at the back no, of the classroom. Off. Cap off, Jonah. Wait, I'm in time out. I'm Give not in actual now. school. Give it to me now. You'll get it back at the end of the class. Look how many boundaries he's trying to push all at once. This kid is obviously needing a lot of attention and a lot of TLC from the teacher. And when he's sitting there, he knows that he's been behaving in an inappropriate manner. You can't take that home with you. He really doesn't seem to want to learn. And I know that um, myself, along with other stuff... Like, look at this. Look at what they're, what he's doing with these kids. There's, this timeout chair is not working. It's too close to, to the other students. And now they are continuing to be disrupted, those two there. And it's just not working. And why is his back to the board now? His back should not be to the board because then he can't see what's happening and he may feel further ostracised from the class. I don't think that's a very wise move. I would actually bring him close to the front. If I was going to move him, I'd put him really close to me. He wants attention. He needs attention. So I would give it to him in a positive way, not a negative way. Only one talking is Shush! <laughs> Jonah, please! Sorry, miss. I'm just allergic to some <laughs> up here. Must be allergic to your fart, miss. Miss Wheelie's. He just screws up the whole classroom really badly. <laughs> Once we had to write. It's boring to do work. If you didn't care about it, why would you do it? I'd rather do fun stuff. Like, he can't even sit still and do a normal classroom activity, so there is something. I mean, obviously, they said before he's had Richland before, so he's ADHD, but um, there's. I think there's another, a deeper learning issue there that he is unable to access the work. So if I was the teacher, I would not be just sitting at the front of the room at my desk doing whatever she's doing. I think she's marking or something like that. I would be um, employing different strategies to try and get him to access the work because it's not worth all of the other students getting disrupted from their learning by him. That's not fair on them. My friends think I'm an idiot. They're like, why would you go to Summer Heights High? It's like the burgonest school in the world. <laughs> it's such a random thing for me to do, but I'm always doing things that like push outside the boundaries. Do you know what I mean? That's me being an idiot. Try oh, this again, do you? Or you're going to look at Ben and say, sorry, Ben. Sorry, Homer. No, Jonah, that's not acceptable. Try again. Sorry, Grandma. Jonah, you are going to acknowledge Ben as a human being. Now, look at him. And say sorry, Ben. I've got the smoke on that one. Sorry, sorry, Ben. No, Jonah. Politely and properly apologise to Ben. Okay, I'll look at him. Yes. Shake his hand. Yes. And say sorry, Ben. Sorry, Ben. I wouldn't have these kids, the bullies, sitting next to um, Ben. I would have Ben in a safe space, like a little bit away from them, because that's quite threatening. He's a little kid, and you've got these bigger kids, and look what he's about to do. I would not sit, seat them like that. I suppose because they're making a movie, they had to squeeze them in so that they could all fit. Back in olden days, a glimpse of stuck in when I look at where I am now, and I, I think about where I could have been, these days, I couldn't feel more certain. Drama teaching is where I'm supposed to be. People say drama, oh, it's a, it's a bludge subject, it's a puffo subject, it's, there's no jobs in it. Wrong. Drama changes lives. It's bad to death and that's right And uh, staff always odd at me saying, oh, Greg, don't confuse your role. You're there merely to educate. Wrong again. I'm not there merely to educate, I'm there to inspire them. I'm there to teach them the discipline of dance and the craft of the stage. I'm there to teach them to dare to dream. And to bring into their lives a little bit of magic. Hold it, morons. <laughs> really? High five. Is that the arrangement you want? Your call, your show. It's a really great show. There's a lot of language in it and it's a little bit confronting at times. I really love Chris Lilly's ability to impersonate stock characters that you have around the school. I do think that he pushes his boundaries just a little bit too far sometimes. But go and check it out if you want to. Summer Heights High, it's on Netflix. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more teaching tips and occasional teaching vlogs.